Now Jesus said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. Today you got pearls before swine. You see, he built his church on the Holy Ghost. Now what did a Satan do? He took the church and built it on a book, on the Bible. They're emulators. It's a phony church. There ain't no church left. There's just a few Holy Ghost witnesses left on earth. When somebody says, I got the gift of healing, they're lying. You can't have the gift of healing unless you got the church. See, the gifts of healing was set. Now notice this gift of wisdom. I was put in a Holy Ghost church to help the saints. We have everything we need in a, in a Holy Ghost church. The gift of healings and, and miracles and knowledge and wisdom and, and tongues and interpretation. But today we don't have no church, so those gifts don't work. There ain't nobody sanctified. You don't have a Holy Ghost church. So what you got out there playing church? A whole bunch of hogs that come out of the hog pen playing church. Constantine stole our cross. He said he saw a vision of a cross and then a voice told him to fight under that emblem. The cross represented the sacrifice that Jesus made. Christians don't fight with swords. They don't kill. We're born of the Spirit. He stole our, our church and he, he's of Satan. Satan transformed himself into Jesus and Constantine stole our emblem, the cross. And he's the first dude that compiled Bibles. He compiled 50 Bibles on fine vellum. Constantine did. He was the ruler of the whole world at that time. So you talk about these gifts and pearls. The gift of faith, you see. King James, he took and authorized a book. Now Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church. He built it on the Holy Ghost. And now what happened? This is where he destroyed our church. It's like they destroyed all the Gnostic people. They was people that didn't believe in living after the flesh. So today, people want to live after the flesh. So what do they do? They get them a book. And then they bring all these people in. If you've studied history, people like on Azusa Street, they'd have a little Holy Ghost meeting going. Well, there'd be enough Bible worshipers come in there to destroy the whole place. He sent a flood after the woman. Run her into the wilderness. They emulate today. The covenant we have is that he's going to pour his spirit out upon us. Nobody today goes by the Holy Ghost. It's a bunch of swine out here. If you go out there amongst them, you're just casting your pearls before swine. How can Jesus be the head of 411 different churches? you got the Baptists, the Catholics, the Pentecostals, Mormons. How can you say Jesus is the head of that church? That's a bunch of phonies. They've stole everything we got. They stole our history. They stole our book. And now they got us run off in the wilderness. They're a bunch of phony Christians. Because they couldn't get the Holy Spirit because God wouldn't accept their hearts because they were living after the flesh. They had to steal our identity. They took the book, the history of our people, of real Christians, Constantine and King James, and then they killed off the real Christians because Satan hates them and they can't compete with them. They're envious of them. And then they claim all these miracles. They emulate, but they have to have all these great doctors and stuff to do this work and they have to have visions of Jesus or Mary on a tortilla or on a tree or something. They stole our identity and then killed us all off. And they also stole their name. Take like, why do they always uh, name these pedophile popes, they name them John Paul. <laughs> Where did they get them named? They stole that from our history. They stole that away from the Holy Ghost people. They stole everything we got. Satan has even... Jesus said, there will be false Christ, but they're thick as hair on a dog. I mean, it's just everywhere. You got different churches on every corner saying they represent Jesus Christ. This is the worst shape the church has ever been in in the history of man. You do not have a real church today. There's no Holy Ghost people. They steal our names. They, they take the gifts of discernment. They claim everything we got. And so, what do you do? When you got a real person, you run 10,000 phonies in there and the real person is covered up. Today, you got a handful of Holy Ghost people. God told me to tell this. See, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John ain't even the New Testament. They put it in the New Testament to put you under the law. They don't even know that that is Old Testament. Just like I said, honor your mother. If your mother's a gambler and a whore, and uh, some kind of a thief. How are you going to honor your mother in this world today? They're liars. And 
and the gift of tongues, the Protestants, the Pentecostals, to name exactly, they have to emulate to make themselves Christians because the Bible said they spake with other tongues, so that's their evidence that they have the Holy Ghost. And so they emulate. It's a bunch of gibberish and stuff. We were in one church, and they were all speaking in tongues. All the women had the same tongue. Cada dia es así, cada dia es así. And we knew some Spanish, so we knew that in Spanish that meant every day is the same. And believe me, for them, every day is the same. And all the men were shubala. That's not the Holy Ghost. That's phony. They have stolen our gifts and our identity. Now you're taking, see how these preachers think today, these, these demons. This man here, he wants to go back to Jerusalem and build the temple. Jesus said, your house is left to you desolate. desolate. He tore the temple down. Now they've been spending, sending millions of dollars, these phony churches. They want to build it back. Well, what have you got over there? You've got the very people that killed Jesus. All them Jews, they ain't, none of them never going to convert to Jesus Christ. They don't even believe in Jesus Christ. They're going to build back the old temple. There's going to be two witnesses come, say, don't build the temple. They'll kill them. They're going to build the old temple back up. And this man here is... Now, this is how dumb he is. He's got thousands of people in his church wanting to build back a temple and they've been putting money in it for years. A temple that Jesus was kicked out of and the people that run it killed him and they want to build that back up. Now they have stole the gift of discernment from us. They stole all that from us and they're trying to build back the old thing to deceive the world. The world deceived today. There's not one Holy Ghost church. There's only a few of us Holy Ghost people that's left. They've stole our identity. The gift of healing was for the church. It was for God's people. It's not for sinners and evil people. Benny Hinn is a sorcerer. He hypnotizes people so he can get their money. And when he hypnotizes them, he tells them that they're healed. And they believe it. But that's all an act. And following those same people, they're still sick. And for them to get healed... They have to really go to a doctor and God gets in the doctor, of course, and heals them through medical miracles and stuff like that. They stalled our gift of healing. One preacher, he was preaching Christ in you. And hardly anybody came to his meetings. And he said, I'm not going to preach to this few of people. And he knew people would come for healing because that's a fleshly thing. So he started preaching healing and he got rich. He got famous. He got prosperous. And he stole, he was just another sorcerer that stole our gift of healing, which is for the church, not for sinners. Now this one here, the gift of prophecy, you see, what we're really telling you is a basic simple truth. The Bible's not the Word of God. The covenant to us is the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So we're just telling you plain truth. This is pearls before swine. They've stolen our church. That's what they've done. There's none of us hardly left. Now this man here will take a Bible and hold it up and say, This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can be what it says. How stupid is that? How stupid is that? If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you ain't none here. They take a book and claim what's in a 2,000 year old book that I can do what this book says. Now how in the world is Jesus going to run his church with a 2,000 year old book? He has to have the living God in us to tell us where to go, what to do, and how to live. You can only do things by Christ in you that strengthens you, not by a book. The church of today is a bunch of dog 